Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Muhammad Munib Hamid. First, the headlines. The nation is celebrating 143rd birth of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah today with renewed commitment to work hard for progress and prosperity of the country. Foreign Minister has termed China-Pakistan Economic Corridor as of extensive strategic importance for Pakistan and the region. In occupied Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir High Court has ordered the Indian authorities to ensure provision of information to the families of detainees shifted to Indian jails. The U.S. President will visit Turkey in the next year. Now the news in detail. Pakistan, make your contribution to the protection of the weak, and I am confident that you will live up to your tradition when you are called upon to defend your country and the safety and security of your nation. The nation is celebrating 143rd birth anniversary of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah today with renewed commitment to work hard for progress and prosperity of the country. It is a public holiday today and the national national flag is hosted atop all public and private buildings. Radio Pakistan is broadcasting special programs, discussions, interviews and reports to highlight different phases of independence struggle and the leadership role of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. An impressive change of guard ceremony was held at Mazari Qaid in Karachi this morning. A smartly turned out contingent of Pakistan Military Academy Kakul assumed the guard's duty from Pakistan Air Force. Commandant Pakistan Military Academy Kakul Major General Akhtar Nawaz Sati, who was chief guest on the occasion, laid floral wreath on the Mazar of at Fatiha and recorded impressions in the impression book on the occasion. Governor Sindh Imran Ismail and Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, along with members of the provincial cabinet, visited Mazari Qaid in Karachi this morning. They laid floral wreath, offered Fatiha, and paid homage to the great leader of the Muslim of subcontinent and father of the nation. In their separate messages on the day, President Dr. Arif Alvi and Prime Minister Imran Khan have called for adhering to the vision of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah and following his guiding principles of unity, faith and discipline in our individuals as well as collective lives. Pakistan and China have reiterated the determination to take a joint course of action for regional peace and stability and to promote connectivity. The agreement came during a meeting between Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi Yin in Beijing. Both foreign ministers discussed bilateral ties and important regional and global issues. The two sides also held extensive talks on establishing peace in Afghanistan. Shah Mahmood Qureshi called China a Pakistan economic corridor of extensive strategic importance for Pakistan and the region. Christian community all over the world, including Pakistan, is celebrating Christmas today. Special services will be held in churches across the world to celebrate the festival. In their separate messages, President Dr. Ali Fulbi and Prime Minister Imran Khan have extended warmest greetings to Christian community on the joyous occasion of Christmas and commended the community's sincere efforts for socio-economic development of the country. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhary Fawaz Hussain, says protecting the rights of minorities is among the top priorities of PTI government. In a statement on the occasion Christmas, he said the Christian community has played a great role in solidarity, development and prosperity of Pakistan. He appreciated their services in health, education and other sectors. The Jammu and Kashmir High Court has ordered the Indian Occupation Authorities to ensure provision of information to the families of those detainees who were shifted to Indian jails. The court also ordered the authorities to ensure interaction of the detainees with their family members. The petition seeking information about the detainees was filed by High Court Association of the Occupied Territory. U.S. President Donald Trump will visit Turkey next year. Turkish presidential spokesman Ibrahim Kalin told reporters after a cabinet meeting that the U.S. President has accepted the invitation of his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip at the to visit the country. Europe's most active volcano, Mount Etna, is in Sicily. Italy has been erupted with more than 130 earthquakes of up to 4.3 in magnitude. 
The UN team, which is monitoring the helping to implement seaside across Yemen's crucial port city of Hudaytha, has made a tour of the city. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log into our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopaksanewsofficial.